I'm Owen Maxwell, Director of Product Development at Regulator Marine, and I'm very excited to introduce to you the new Regulator 34 SS. And we call it the SS because of the starboard seating feature over here. When we sat down with our dealers and our customers, we did not want to design a boat that was another big, open, go-fast center console boat. We wanted to do something different, and this is it. More of a dual-purpose boat for fishing and cruising. A friend came up to me at the boat show and he said, oh, and you know, Regulator's sort of known for building fishing boats. And I look at this boat and I'm a little confused. It, it has fishing features, but it's got more cruising features than you normally put on a boat. And I'm a little bit confused. Is it a cruising boat or a fishing boat? And my reply was, exactly, it's both. Let me start off by showing you some of the cruising features of this boat up on the bow deck. Seating of 12 of your best friends up here. Integrated handrails for security and ease while you're cruising. Under gunnel cup holders, as well as a storage bin here behind the cushion for whatever things you want to take out of your pockets. Could be fishing tackle, could be suntan lotion, whatever's in your pockets you want to take out. But let me show you some of the fishing features of this boat as well. Clean bow deck, hideaway bow light, pull up cleats, nice clean integrated anchor locker like you're used to seeing on so many regulators. But underneath the cushions, look at the casting platform up here. Got plenty of room for casting, under tow room, lock in on the combing pads, plenty of room to come down the side too. So we've got our fishing features of the casting platform up here as well as the lounging features of the forward seating, starboard seating area up here as well. Underneath the forward casting platform is a gigantic dry storage area here that drains overboard. This box is over 36 inches long. Starboard side, seven foot fish box slash rod locker. And yes, those are spinning rods in there. Seven feet long, insulated, drains overboard. Can use it for locking rod storage or for fish box. And as on all the regulators, the molded RTM lids, clean finished both sides, easy cleanup, gasketed lid for a good tight finish. On the port side, a six foot insulated fish box as well doubles as rod storage, and since it's so long, if you want to use part of it for just ice and drinks, it's got a nice divider in here to isolate your ice, to keep all your ice in one area there for just a handful of drinks. The view from the console, completely clear, unobstructed view. You guys have asked us to remove the V-brace from the T-top, and with this particular top configuration design, there's no obstruction from a V-brace in front. And I'm looking through a frameless tempered glass windshield, so there's no framework on this windshield to interrupt your view. And this is your view from the helm, clear and unobstructed. I'd like to point out some of the features of this particular console. You'll notice very carefully, we've rounded the top of the console and rolled the forward edges to help with the forward vis visibility. Even though it's a 34 foot boat, you've still got the visibility looking over the helm of the bow deck that you would on a much smaller boat. The electronics face here, completely flush, 38 inches wide. It's large enough for two of the largest 12 inch Furuno 3D machines that seem to be the real hot thing in electronics now. But it's also large enough for the 12 inch Ray Marines and North Stars as well. Completely unobstructed here, dedicated electronics in this flush panel. Gauges on a lower panel with the switches so they will not be in the way of your electronics. We all seem to want the largest electronics displays we can and we don't want to compromise them with anything else where well, you're not. This face is a 25 degree face, we call it the easy view face, 
because it's tilted at enough of an angle that your eyes will be 90 degrees to the face so that you can pick up that color display even on a bright sunny day. The gauges are at a 45 degree angle because they're lower they need to be at a greater angle so you can read those clearly. You'll also notice the two cup holders down here as well as the storage tray here with the anti-slip mat. I don't know about your fishing crew, but one of the first things that my fishing crew does with drink holders is they get on the boat and if there's not a drink in the holder, they start unloading everything in their pockets and filling up the drink holders with everything they have and then you don't have room for drinks. Well now with this storage tray with the anti-slip, your crew can take their wallet out, their cell phone, whatever, and you've still got your drink holders. Teleflex, power assist steering, tilt helm, Linko, 14 by 18 trim tabs, and footrest with storage forward in the console. One of the neat things about this footrest design is it has an under tow feature as well as a tuck in for your feet on top so you can really get comfortable with this footrest. Glove box for all those additional things. Handrails on the side, particularly important when you've got little people on the boat. These particular handrails are white powder coated, but they're also available in bright dip anodized if the bright dip anodized option is chosen on the T-top frame. I'd like to now show you the, what we call the 3X Deluxe Live Well. Seat, featured seating, the garlic seats here, fold up bolster for leaning function, or fold down for seating very comfortable large seat. One of the things that I think is so important about this seat is you've, you've got little people and so many of us are doing our boating with the entire family. You can put a little person up here and they've got a good heavy secure armrest here, good back deep seat and they're gonna be there. You hit a boat wake you don't have to worry about hanging on anybody. On the starboard side of this 3X Deluxe is access to the plumbing on the port side of the tackle station, Plano trays for the individual tackle, larger tray at the bottom for a little bit larger plugs and things. Eighteen by twenty-one inch sink, insulated. This sink is as big as most kitchen sinks. Pull-out spray faucet underneath the molded lid. Nice and clean, forward, more drink holders, and storage tray up here. This can also be accessed from the starboard side seating on the bow deck, so plenty of drink holders and storage area here. Underneath the tackle center, we've got tackle drawers for bulk storage as well. These drawers are on keepers, so when they're closed, they're closed. You don't have to worry about them opening up when you open the door. Fresh water wash down on the starboard side, salt water wash down on the port side, and the shore power cord hookup is here on the starboard side as well to feed the standard 40 amp battery charger. Optional T-top is available in white powder coated or bright dip anodized. One of the things that we're so proud of on this top is this finished edge, we call it the surfboard edge. Nice, clean appearance, no trim on that top. Featured in the back, two flush mount spreader lights, one in the front that lights the whole bow deck. Integrated radio box. Flush mount electronics integrated into the frame. Super clean installation. Optional Lee Sidewinder Outriggers available with 16 foot telescoping or 18 foot regular outriggers. Optional Rocket Launcher as well. 
boat has rod storage for 10 rods and rocket launchers, four on the gunnels. I think we've got enough for the most avid fisherman to take all his rods with him. On top of the top, molded in antenna mounting step. You can put a floodlight forward, GPS antennas, center square here for radar if an owner wants to put a radar on the boat. Already integrated in, don't have to buy any radar mass. This particular boat is a white boat, therefore the underneath of the T-top is white. But if you've got a feature colored hull sided boat, like Fighting Lady Yellow for instance, the feature color is available underneath the top as well. Really sets off the top, says that this is your boat, very distinctive feature. The live well is neatly concealed under this molded fiberglass lid. 50 gallon insulated live well. Freshwater sink, pull out spray nozzle, cutting board on the starboard side. This live well is fed by 1100 gallon per hour raw water pump, putting enough water in here that you can actually pressurize this live well with this sealed lid with overboard drain if you want to maximize the use of the live well. The particular crew that I fish with doesn't do much live well fishing and because it's insulated and drains overboard, we actually use this for a drink box and it will hold a lot of drinks and keep them all day. Immediately after the live well is in-deck bulk storage. Look at the size of this compartment. I've got three buckets in it because that's all I could round up this morning. But there's enough room for six five gallon buckets in there. Fenders, dock lines, life jackets, cast nets, buckets, scrub brushes, whatever you want to put, I'm sure it'll fit in there. Immediately after the bulk storage, mechanical access. I think it's very important to point out the size of this in accessing your mechanical functions in there. Port side is the 1100 gallon an hour live well pump, very accessible to see Cox there. Forward bulkhead, fuel filters for easy access, easy on off for your uh, pet Cox on your fuel filter system. We've got a high water alarm in here as well. Dual bilge pumps, automatic float switches, and this small black box over here on the port side is an air-cooled refrigeration compressor for the optional refrigerated fish box back here on the transom. One of my favorite features on this boat is a flush-mounted rear seat. We talk about fishing and cruising. Guys going out in the morning, good comfortable place to sit, or cocktail cruising in the afternoon. Seat folds back up in the bulkhead, so if you're back fishing, completely clean, out of the way, easy cleanup with a fiberglass flush panel on it. Transom mounted 340 quart fish box. Drains overboard, don't have to worry about it stopping up. It's insulated and this particular box has an optional refrigerated panel in it. Not a freezer, not designed to freeze anything, but designed to just keep your ice longer, even up to a number of days by refrigerating the box. 340 quarts, we like to use these specifications on boats, but what is that? Do you remember in the early days of fishing when we used to carry these 151 quart igloo coolers, the type with the rope handles and the little wooden stick on them, and it would break your back and cause most of us to have hernias in later life? This is like two of those, all back here, neatly stored. Walk-through transom, flip lid, again, completely molded, both sides. Heavy-duty hardware on this transom door. This transom door is not gonna open up unless you want it to. Feature color on the door, completely opens, out of the way and latches. Finished with stainless caps on the gunnel molding. Beautiful appearance. I'm standing on the engine platform now. Not only is this an engine platform, but it's a completely functional platform down here 
with the Armstrong dive ladder is standard. One of the things that I think is so important to point out as I'm looking forward on this boat is this boat is 33 feet 10 inches long from where my hand is on this gunnel molding to the bow cap. We call it a 34. Remember that the footprint with the engines on this engine bracket is over 38 feet. We're pushing this boat with twin 350 Yamahas, 380 gallons of fuel, and we're getting between 56 and 59 miles an hour, depending on how the boat is loaded. There's not another boat in this class with the 38 foot footprint with twin engines that's getting this type of performance with up to a 300 mile range. Standing on the engine platform, I just wanted to point out this transom door with the featured color, so the hull color carries all the way through it. Don't see this on many outboard boats. This is the type of thing you see on larger inboard, much more expensive boats. But this is the regulator quality that we really want to stress on this boat. Well, we've talked about all the different features of this new 34 SS center console. And it's a center console, so we've about seen it all, right? No. The best and most surprising I've saved for last. Come with me. Access to the console interior is through this molded fiberglass door. Notice it's a completely frameless door, very clean appearance. We've taken a cue from our dealers and our customers and cut out this top portion here with this hatch-like feature, which greatly aids in getting in and out of the console without having to bend over. I'm now standing inside the console area of the 34SS. Six foot, four inch of headroom. I'd like to point out some of the features in here. 5,000 BTU, 12 volt air conditioner. You're able to use it at the dock with the battery charger or offshore with the engine zone and up to six hours with just battery power before the house batteries run down. Also, I'd like to point out that we've got the undercombing courtesy lights here and lighting above here for the whole area. Underneath, bunk area for two adults, six foot nine inch area in here. I'd like to point out some of the mechanical features that are in here as well. Lift out area to access the mechanicals for the vacuum flush head system and on the port side lift out for the 431 series batteries and I mentioned it earlier but we're charging those batteries with a standard 40 amp battery charger so when you're plugged in a shore power you can pretty much do whatever you want to. Polished stainless steel sink with pull out spray faucet, Corian countertop, storage under. Underneath this side, access to the 12 volt and 110 breaker systems. These breakers are on off breakers, so if you'd like to render a function completely, if you don't want your refrigerator coming on, you don't want the windlass being operated from the helm, you can turn it off right here. Above, battery switches as well as breakers for the full-time accessories. So many times on boats, we've got little fuses isolated down by the bilge pumps or by the sump pump or the CO detector that have to be full-time hots. You have to run around looking for a fuse. Now we've got it on the fuse panel, so you don't have to go looking for a trip breaker. It's all right here. Lighting switches. Access to the electronics here and to the switch panel. Microwave with storage cabinet. 110 volt outlet when you're hooked up to shore power for any particular functions that you'd like to operate here. ACDC isotherm stainless steel front refrigerator will operate off of shore power or off of battery power so you can put all your luncheon meats and mayonnaise in here don't have to make your sandwiches before you go offshore in the morning. Opening port light to get a little air in the head here. 
whether you're napping or just coming in here to do a little business. And of course, I've got a mirror in the console as well. Well, I could use a brush. Well, we've talked about all the features of this 34 SS that you guys have asked for that we've tried to incorporate in this boat. But there's one feature that I haven't mentioned that we have not left out, and that's the legendary regulator ride. Get out and ride this boat. You will not believe the soft, dry ride, and you will not believe the agility of this boat when you're running it. You'll feel like you're operating a 26. Get out on one and ride it, and you'll be sold. The Regulator 34SS. Thank you.